Let's take a look at the team. Cistercian College first, the Ross Gray side. Make just one change from the 15 that started against Wesley. Killian Buckley was a second half substitute in the second row and he retains his place alongside Daniel Trayers. Ross Gray captain, or captain by their number eight, Sean O'Brien, who scored two tries in the first round. In the back line, there's plenty of pace. Dwayne Corcoran and winger Tim Carroll crossed the line against Wesley, Tom Foley kicked five from six from the kicking tee. He and scrum half Dan Lavelle will be key for Ross Gray this afternoon. Terran your College select three new faces to their starting lineup. Perhaps a little surprisingly, that includes both halfbacks, where Gary Clark and Jake Swain will be in at nine and ten, respectively. It's a back line bristling with talent. Fullback Brian, Billy Dardis and the centre pairing Harrison Brewer and Captain Stephen O'Neill have all represented Ireland underage. Just a single change in the pack where Craig Trinier is selected at tight head. Terenure's depth is evident on the bench. Tiernan Craig, Tim Schmidt and Ronan Church all started last time out. We can expect to see them used this afternoon. On the Cistercian side, Matthew Keane, Owen Boland and Richard Lavery, who scored a try, all saw some game time in the last round. Terenure have made, managed to steal the ball here. Clarkin. And into a lot of space here. And slow chase from Terenure. Now oh, they rushed up, they could have put on a bit of pressure. Second row, Daniel Trayers gets back. Running crossfield here, accelerates and straightens. The Terenure defenders attract him all the way. Arm comes out, penalty coming for Terenure. They've got the ball though. They may get something more. They've men over here if they can use it. Brewer passes it on. Was that obstruction? Play can go on. They get the ball all the way wide. Just it's a touchdown. They're looking at the wrong line. Great try in the corner. The two lines behind the goal. The end line from the soccer match. Fitz just fucks me there for a second, Aiden, but brilliant handling, brilliant finish, great try. Was indeed, and what Ross Cray needed, the man on the ball, it was Daniel Trayers getting this ball, running to the middle of the pitch, wrong option. That opens the entire pitch for the attacking team, should it turn over, and that's what happened, and he had all that space on the blind side. They had the advantage of the penalty if they wanted to take it. Ball through the hands, Brewer, little flick pass. That was the key part. Could have, been, could have been a judge to be blocking there in the centre, but try time in the end. Back with the live action, Terenure fan touch, they threw to the line out following that penalty. They've gone to the back, not read by Ross Gray on that occasion. Brewer in midfield, nice little offload, Dardis into the line from fullback. He's a real threat, Dardis to the 22. The space out there, Madigan goes for the corner. What a try from Terenure. Brilliant handling, brilliant try in the corner. We knew they were capable of that. It's been a while coming, but that's a great finish. And the Terenure supporters are going wild in the Tallis Stadium. A fantastic work. The line out to start was absolutely excellent. Went for the right man. Perfect throw. Down hands here. Watch this. Going to the right man. Look at this line of running. Dardis bashes through. Good feet all the time. Gets his hands free. And that timing of that pass, absolutely perfect. And Madigan taking full advantage. Well, they've gone short to the front. Onside now, turn your high most foot. 18. Here comes the pick and drive. We can see the white try line. Here they go again. Have they managed to bundle over the line? Centimetre short. Tearing your defenders wait. They line up. Ross Gray, pick and drive comes again. Well defended on that occasion. Surely can they get the ball. Touchdown, they do. Great try. Who's at the bottom of the pile? Brilliant, brilliant work. Well, I thought when they opted to go to the front of the line at the chance might have slipped away, but the pick and drive, pick and drive, pick and drive. Tactic worked out yes, for us, Gray. Here you see it again. That was great support, Kieran Gavin, bundling the ball carrier across the line. It was Walsh getting over in the end. And I thought the line-out was gone because they went for that short throw. And you don't do that if you're not under pressure at your line-out time. They did very well. Great strength by Walsh. Well, now a huge kick for Tom Foley. This will take the sides level. Similar angle to his successful kick in the first half. He sent it on its way, but didn't quite have the direction. And the margin remains two points. 
We're in for a good game, and that all came from that rush tearing your line out. And now, is this the last roll of the dice for us, Gray? Shortened line out. Kelly controlling the ball at the back. They try them all with just four men. Terenure defending it well. The pass just bobbling in front of Maloney. Drives on with his legs. Good work from Maloney into space here. On Ross Gray drive. They're within three metres of the line. They're under the post. Can they get it across the line? A touchdown. Lavelle roaring for more support to drive the ball over. Are we going to see a 15-man ball? They've committed. Plenty of numbers, still calling in more. Kieran Gavin coming to help out as well. Ross Gray sends the chance. That's Gavin. Peels away as he threw. Watch the referee just held up short. The ball is there, half a metre short. They need to be patient. They need to focus. There's a scream for the touchdown. They're claiming the try on the line. Alan Roland had a long, long, long look, but he's awarded the try. I think he's right. You can sense by the reaction of the Ross Gray players, they felt they had the touchdown. And Rory Maloney comes up with the ball. Fantastic work, and Maloney started it all off. Leg driving, leg pumping run by him. And this time, on this occasion, players got with him and supported him. Kept him up that little bit longer for him to pump his legs more. And then it was a team effort at the end. Great to see. And we're in for an interesting last 10 minutes, John. Well, the old trick, the white line is good enough. Touch it down on the try line, and that counts. Alan Roland had a long look to make certain. Can they get somebody up to steal the ball? Terenure have it. Church moves it on. Brewer keeps it going. Dardis in the line once again. Gets through the gap. He's got the ball out to Madigan. Can Madigan make the corner? Tackles come across. All well, the chances here now for Terenure. Can they steal the game at the death? Church moves it on. Desperate defence from Ross Gray. Shouting for numbers to come to the blind side. That's the way Schmidt goes. Thornton ducks his head and drives towards the line but he's stopped five meters out schmidt gets it out to church once again church is stopped just short of the line and the ball is there referee roaring at shona bright to take his hands out schmidt's dummy fools the referee harrison brewer was standing still when he received the ball schmidt is in to move it once again little reverse pass does it open up the space now the tackles come in Schmidt moves it once again. O'Neill, the captain, taken low, tumble to the ground. Drop goal opportunity isn't really on here. Pass out to Dardis. He can be a bit of a magician. Slips away from one tackle. The black and white shirts get across to swallow him up. Hands out! Aurora hands out from the referee. Terenur can go on again. Schmidt comes in field. Kevin Colgan tries to batter his way through but he's stopped this is church is there a little bit of space takes the tackle releases the pass brilliant tackle on harrison brewer just to smother the pass cray he was taken low unable to get the pass away terran have been pushed back almost to the 22. how have the two sets of players got any energy left six and a half minutes past the 70 we played terran looking for something a penalty would be enough, but the penalty decision goes the way of Ross Gray. Is that enough? Sean O'Brien is asking. He tells Lavelle to bang it out. I'll blow the whistle. Lavelle puts it into the chair and your supporters in the crowd. And Ross Gray can celebrate. What a game, Aiden. Absolutely fantastic game of rugby. And we saw Ross Gray sticking to their guns all the way through, fully deserved. I thought with about 10 minutes to go, it was all over. But they came back and that fantastic try by Rory Maloney, absolutely fantastic game of rugby by him. And he could be a hero in Ross Gray tonight, that's for sure. Well, it's the first time we've come to the Tallis Stadium for Leinster School Senior Cup Rugby. We've seen a cracking game. It was magic yesterday, it's been better today. Cistercian College Ross Gray have sprung a surprise. Full time score at the Tala Stadium. CC Ross Gray 13, Terran Your College 10. With me is the Ross Gray coach, John Lillis. Congratulations, that was a fantastic win.
Thanks, John. Yeah, it was a fantastic performance by the lads. They dug real deep down there at the finish, but I have to give credit to the team. They worked so hard, and they're a great bunch of lads. And the one who you cannot beat in rugby football, and that's passion and pride. And that's what those boys have by the bucket load. Well, they certainly look like they played 1-15 to today. They all fought hard for each other. A lot of teams might have died away when they were behind, but they fought to the end. Well, that's the one thing about them. They've said it themselves that they're away from their families for three weeks at a time, where the other schools go home at four o'clock in the evening. There's a special bond among that group of players. There's a special bond in the college itself, and I think it manifests itself out on the field here today with that performance. Also with me is the captain, Sean O'Brien. Sean, chance to catch, get your breath, breath back yet? Just about. Uh, oh, it's brilliant, you know. It's, there's no better feeling than fucking going out at school and having a victory like that, you know. It's, it's just brilliant. It's what, it's what we play rugby for, you know. It's brilliant to, to have it with all the lads to live with, you know. It makes a big difference. Well, you got yourselves in front just near the end, but you still had plenty of time to defend, and the character you showed was just brilliant. Oh, uh, yeah. Terenure came back brilliantly there. You know, it was, that was the hardest game we've had all year by far. You know, they were brilliant, like, and just it's, it's credit to all the lads about how hard they worked. Like, you know, there was no way we were letting them in there at the end. It was just it was brilliant, like, it was just full on. Well, congratulations to you both, and best of luck in the semi final.